Not a damn paradise. Check out my books on Amazon, by the way. So anyway, let's get straight to it. This is what your ex gonna do once they get tired, bored, in their new you know, relationship, their new little rebound relationship. See, the thing is, first, they're gonna give you the solid treatment for whatever reason. See, they're going to give you the solid treatment and make you guess what you did wrong. The whole time, you could have did nothing wrong. See, by you guessing, guessing, wondering, pondering what you did wrong, how can you fix the situation and stuff like that, all you're doing is giving them more control and more power. And while you're doing all of that, see, they scomping out. They just grooming the next person, looking for the next victim who they gonna get in a relationship with. And by the time you figure out what you did wrong, or I guess what you did wrong, you they just pop up in this new relationship. See, first, they gonna come up with an excuse. They gonna give you some kind of weird, goofy, dumb excuse. I mean, the stupidest, dumb excuse. Just say like, for example, they did something and um, you called them out on it. They going to bring up some kind of excuse from their childhood. You know what? My mama used to slap me when I was a little baby. Or, you know, my mama ain't never give me no juicy juice with the ice. My mama ain't never wash me or whatever the excuse may be. And then they going to flip it and be like, well, it's because of my childhood. Then they going to reverse it. And it's like, you know what? You never act like my mama. You never act like my daddy or vice versa. You never did A through Z some kind of wild excuse so they're going to give them the reason that gives them the reason to go jump to this other off-brand relationship over here on the other side keep in mind it's going to be somebody close by like a job a classmate somebody at the gym someone that's in their world already because the thing is certain people like control and they don't like to go outside their environment you know look or you know something new so they like something that's already in their environment something that easy so what they're gonna do next is this they're gonna go to that little off-brand relationship and give you the solid treatment like you did something wrong and they're gonna go out in the world and play the victim and tell whoever listen how much of a monster you is because they gotta play the victim to boost their ego and things of that nature see you can't play the victim because they gotta play the victim See, if you try to play the victim, they'll do everything, you know, in their power to stop all that because they love playing the victim. So anyway, they're going to go over there to a little off-brand relationship with this little painkiller over here and stuff like that. And as soon as that goes, you know, nature start kicking in and stuff like that. We don't know how long it's going to be. It might be years, but nature going to kick in. You know, relationships has its ups and its downs. So when it goes to its down period, and you over here being silent, you know, they give you the silent treatment. What they do? They, you know, start a conversation. They hit you with that one word text. Hey, big head, I ain't heard from you in a while. Or, or you know, I left some of my stuff over there. I don't mind, you don't mind me coming over there to get it. That's why they don't never take all their stuff when they leave. So they're like, hey, big head, you know, um, yeah, my hot comb, oh, it's, it's still over there, my hot comb. Like, people don't use hot cones really like that no more. You know the hot cone you got to put on the stove? I, I, I need that nowadays. Or, hey, can you twist my hair like you used to? Or, or you know, uh, I left a strand of hair, my toothbrush, whatever. Just fill in the blank. Whatever they left at your house, they're going to come back and get it because that's our attachment. The reason why, because what is what they, on the other side over there with the rebound and all that painkiller and all that stuff, that junk, it don't fail. Or it just fizzling out because before that it ends 100%, they like to backtrack. And if they can't backtrack to you, keep in mind they will have someone else close by they can go to, but they will try you out first. And all all they need from you is your attention. That's all they need your attention your attention give them the validation that they looking for that's why i say don't give them a, you know their attention now if you have kids you have to tolerate these people the perfect way and the only way is to use the gray rock method you don't concern yourself with what they're doing and who they're doing it with 
you had your turn with that person. Your time is up. You understand? So the thing, the best method and the only method is accept that. Accept it. That person gone. Accept that God sent you this person to show you, to teach you what you don't need in your life. You don't need these people in your life. Once you get along and fall in love with yourself all over again, you start to realize, like, this person really didn't do anything for me. It was like being in a relationship with a grown child. So the key to all of this is to love yourself, grow from this, find God, get your passport, stack your money, get in the best shape of your life, read more books. I guarantee you everything you're trying to do, it's already been accomplished. All you got to do is just study the techniques that they use to do it and add your own twist to it. But with that being said, this another little short video getting straight to the point. Um, if you need to get in contact with me, shoot me an email or you can text me on WhatsApp. Do not call me. Text me on WhatsApp or you can just check out my books on Amazon. Now, with that being said, stay prayed up and watch out for one another, man. It's crazy out there. Peace.